What's up guys, West Coast Picks here, and today I'm reaching into the bucket of locks that I got from Pickaholic, and I pulled out Smooth Criminal, number 8. Let me find the lock that goes with it. That's 9. That's 8. Alright. So, I just uh, got in from washing my car because it looked all pretty. And it is hot outside, and as hot as it is outside, it's even hotter inside. Uh, <laughs> places like an oven with all the doors closed and stuff, so... I got the fans going, all the windows open. Uh, you might hear the odd dog bark or something like that, but... That is just the way it goes. So this is Smooth Criminal, number 8, pinned by Pickaholic. We have a mummied key, and uh, this is an LSDA key anyway. Uh, who knows what the cylinder originally was. But we will pick into this thing and find out what is in here. Alright. So this is 25 thousandths, and it looks like I can pick right down the center with the 25 thousandths. Which isn't very common with these slag type. Uh, this looks like it might be an F or something like that because the uh, size is very wide. There's a lot of play in here too, so. We'll see what we can get done here, guys. That was four. We got six. Three. Give me a little bit of a little click. No counter or anything, just click and tiniest bit of turning on the core. Whoa, okay, that was five. I got a really good false set there. That was four, and we're open. All right. So, let's see what is in Smooth Criminal. That was a pretty quick pick, actually. Let's uh, do what we normally do. I'm going to lock this back up. As you can see, it is picked. And I'm going to unmummy the key. And we are going to... Oh, damn. Take a look at that bidding. Uh, not a lot of high cuts in there. Not a lot of travel on the pins, except for these uh, two in the back here. On uh, four and five. So, uh, maybe that's why it was a little quicker than normal for me, but man, that is smooth. Uh, very, very smooth. You can feel the center, but there's no clicking or anything involved. It is very smooth. Very well pinned lock. Let's see what is in here, guys. Let's get this clip off. Pinning tray out. Get a shim in here. And let's we'll see what Pickaholic put in the smooth criminal. Some pins looking like they're sitting a little lower than others, but it, you know, like I said, it was really smooth turning, so. Everything is in and working. I don't see any modifications to the core yet, so let's go see what he's put in here, guys. There's a spool on one, a couple serrations on two, a couple serrations on three, one serration on four, Two serrations on five, and six also has two serrations. All right. Looking at the core up close, there is nothing done to it. Well, let's take a look at the top here. Okay, this is a pin and pin. It does not come through as a T-pin. I'll uh, we'll take a look at that up close later. 
I'll leave it together for now and we'll take it apart when, uh, when I show you guys. Awesome. I love seeing, I say it all the time, but I love seeing other people's uh, pin and pins. Just because uh, I know how much work they, they are. Um, and the time it takes for you to make a pin and pin, you could have made like three or four other pins. <laughs> so I really appreciate it when uh, people take the time to make them. Is uh, a type of artwork. Put the last two out of the back here. It looks like we got a bunch of serrated and maybe a short mushroom. And that is another uh, like spool or short mushroom. All right. Quick gander up at the Bible here, and I don't see any modifications to the Bible. So let's uh, take a look at these pins up close here, guys. I'll lay the bidding up for you as well. Let's see. Oh, Pickaholic put in this awesome lock. This is Smooth Criminal. This is number eight. Uh, we'll go key pins first, like I normally do. We have a spool in one, a double serration in two, double serration in three, single serration in four, a double serration in five, and double serration in six. Up on the top we have this pin and pin, which is serrated at the bottom there. You can see that little serration on the bottom. Does not come through as a T-pin. Uh, acts as a breakaway, so the collar falls down into the uh, plug there and has a serration on it. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we have a Single serration on two, single serration on three, pretty sharp there. A uh, spool or kind of mushroom, it flanges out there, but probably acts as a spool. Very sharp there on four. Same as on five, more pronounced on the mushroom style. And then a uh, serrated on six. So, let's run it sideways, you guys can get a good look at these pins. Very nice, all the springs are the same. They're all the uh, standard copper springs that came with the lock. There's our bidding. And that is Smooth Criminal by Pickaholic. That is his lock number eight. Thank you, Pickaholic, for uh, pinning up this lock and sending it out to me and to the community. And we'll get this out in one of my next trades. And thank you all for watching. Later, guys.